Hello everybody, Bolt Matrix here, and today we're taking a look at Studio Series Barricade. Now, Barricade is a police car. His ten his wonderful to punish and enslave is still there. It's an actually pretty good looking barricade in police mode. Doesn't hold together all that well. The back on the vehicle mode has a tendency to pop off. The feet underneath the rear of the vehicle mode have a tendency to pop out of place. And, well, there's always the wonderful car windows that never quite go where they where you want them to. Size-wise, it is the same size roughly as Bumblebee from the same line. Lengthwise, height-wise, it's a little bit shorter because, well, you've got a military vehicle versus a, well, Mustang police car. It's okay. The figure does come with one accessory, and that is the wheel that spins. I would have loved to have that for Hasbro to actually paint the darn thing on the edges like they did with the masterpiece. Oh well, nothing I can't do myself. Barricade's transformation into robot mode is very similar from his masterpiece figure. Start out by just folding down the rear bumper in the back of the vehicle mode, then come to the back window and split it apart, and that will pull the arms and the front away from the vehicle, and then we can start forming the robot mode. To start off with, I like to pull the entire front of the vehicle all the way up like this. Then we can extend the rear legs out, and fold the feet down and flip up the car mode bumper into the back of the legs like that. Next, we come to the front of the vehicle mode and push the little bumper up, unpeg it from the body, and then we can grab the entire front and fold it down and accordion it into place and snap it down into place, fold up Barricade's robot head, Next, come to the figure's back, which is the hood, windscreen, and roof of the vehicle mode. Take the roof, kind of pull it up, and flip it over the windscreen. Then take the hood and pull it up and flip it 180 degrees around the roof of the vehicle mode. And then fold it up and kind of just snap it into place behind ah, the robot back. To finish up the transformation, we're going to come to the entire side of the vehicle mode, take the door and fold it down and then hinge it up over the rear of the front tire, come inside, flip down the robot hand, and then fold that in until it snaps into place like that. So we could do the same thing on the other side, but we'll start off by folding down the hand, then fold up the arm and close that and snap it into place. And that's pretty much his alt or transformation. You are supposed to be able to turn these chess pieces. They are very tight, like ridiculously so. And I use too much strength when moving them. So they do have a tendency to just kind of fall out of place and end up looking really stupid. I keep thinking that I've got Barricade mistransformed somewhere, but no, according to the directions in the box art, this is the way he's supposed to look. I'm not a huge fan, except for the head sculpt, which is absolutely fantastic. Hasbro should be really proud of themselves. They've got so much paint on this thing. But I have no idea where the face begins. It's, it's so dark, and there's just so much going on. It's, it's odd. He also has, I want to say he's got like eight or three eyes on either side. I don't know, whatever. For his accessory, you don't fold his hand up. You just plug the wheel into his palm. Yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of lame. Head is on a ball joint, but it is limited by his chin. It, the, the chin's just freaking massive. So it can move side to side, up and down, but the up, well, it doesn't look up that far. Shoulder is, again, a ball joint, lots of in and out movement, but all of his bits have a tendency to hit, hit themselves when they try to pose. Swivel just below the shoulder, 90 degree bend at the elbow, and the elbow is significantly forward from the swivel. So you can see that there. Hands do not articulate from a swivel or anything, but they do open and close. Not a lot, but just enough to be useful. There's no torso articulation to speak of because of the transformation. Ball joint in the hip. First knee bends 
well, both knees are on ratchets and they bend quite a bit. The last bit of articulation is the hinge at the foot. However, every time I bend it on both feet, the rear of the vehicle mode comes out of its slot. Pain in the butt, not the hugest deal in the world though. I went rummaging through some of my other figures, specifically from the last night. So we have Deluxe Class Last Night Barricade here with his Studio Series counterpart. And there is a height difference. I've got this new barricade standing as tall as I can make him, and he's still significantly shorter by about a quarter of an inch than these his previous incarnation, which is it's disappointing. It really is. These Studio Series figures, while they're good, they're just shrinking. It's so strange. They, they just feel like they're getting smaller and smaller every time I get a hold of one of these figures. In fact, all mainline Transformers seem to be quietly shrinking. Shrinkage aside, Barricade's fine. I would like to see some more paint. There's nothing really wrong with the figure that I can really complain about. Yeah, it's a solid toy. It is a solid, solid toy. So folks, I picked this figure up over at BigBadToyStore.com. You can pick him up. He is currently in stock. You can also pick him, Sideswipe, Crankcase, Bumblebee, and Clunker Bumblebee up in a set all at once, or piecemeal them out, whichever you choose. Links are in the description. Please let me know what you think of this figure down in the comments. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching. I've been Ball Matrix, and I will catch you next time.